good evening to all myself Swabhav. the price action in usb gpy since the release of fmc monetary policy outcome has been tilting in the favor of the pairs and i am expecting the weakness in dollar to last at least for next uh, couple of days at the minimum and in such a scenario the upside upside for usd gpy looks capped at the levels close to 110 so in light of that we will be looking for the trading opportunities in today's session if we look at the data docket for the day the us economy grew only 6.5 percent in terms of quarter on quarter for the second quarter of this year that is the quarter ended june 2021 against the expectations of a 8.5 percent growth and uh, it's helping the dough rise as market participants are waiting that uh, the fed will have to continue with the accommodative monetary policy stance for the longer period of time and if we look at the labor market data which was also released at around the same time the labor market data is also telling similar story if we consider the initial jobless claims the initial jobless claims remain elevated at the 400,000 against the expected decline to 380,000 and it looks like the US economy is still not fully out of the dangers of COVID with rapid spread of more contagious Delta variant require more time to return back to the normalcy so we will have to see how this uh, round of uh, economic measures go and uh, to what extent the recovery holds now let's uh, shift our side on the technical aspect we will consider the outlook for the dow jones industrial average and the usd gpy I think I have not uh, changed this uh, slide. It should be USD GPY along with the gold. So we start the day with the uh, USD GPY's technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart, and here, as you can observe, the formation has now changed in a bearish pattern. We have this formation of a lower low and lower high this consolidation which was going on for the last couple of days closer to 110.5 has now given way to a new found vigor for the bears and we have this resistance pushing the usd gpy lower for the time being the usd gpy stands will be below 110 and we can consider this price area closer to 110 to act as a significant resistance on the higher side so it will be better for us if we keep looking for the short sale opportunities closer to this resistance point if we consider the price action for last couple of months earlier it was uh, of uh, higher highs and higher lows and that lasted till uh, the last week of june and from there onwards it has been a uh, inward inverse story and now we have looking at the possibility of usd gpy moving towards 109 and uh, it looks likely that this time around we can even expect a fresh swing low below this uh, higher low established just little above 109 so if we have to consider some key levels which are going to be providing us the optimum opportunities to go short we will have to rely on these uh, immediate swing high and uh, yesterday's high stands at around 110.2 and that can be the ultimate stop loss level for any trade which we would like to initiate in the USD JPY. and uh, if you consider the current price formation we have this uh, first support of this month's pivot point series which has been providing the buying momentum on the lower side for usd jpy for last couple of sessions but uh, now after the start of uh, us trading session we have seen renewed selling pressure the momentum building up and uh, as a result of that we have this uh, price declining well below this uh, first support and i think that is a sign of uh, weakness in the usd jpy and it gives us the opportunity to go short 
but as i said we do have to watch out for the risk associated with the trade and uh, stop loss is going to remain close to this uh, immediate swing high so if you want to go short in the usd jpy then the stop loss is going to turn out pretty wide so rather than uh, going for a short sell trade immediately i would say that it will be better for us to allow the consolidation to happen the best opportunity to go short was close to prior uh, swing highs when we had the usd jpy reversing course after the release of fmc monetary policy we could have shorted it there but if you have missed out on that then i think it will be better to wait it out rather than uh, acting in haste and uh, if we have to figure out the next optimum level to go short this will be the price zone to watch out for these three smas are converging closer to 110 and as i said the 110 is going to be a uh, important resistance on the higher side and from there the stop loss level is also quite close we don't really have to take too much risk if we are going in for any sale trade closer to this uh, level of 110 and if we consider the price formation the current level was where the used jpy reversed course last time around that doesn't really mean that uh, you should be expecting the same this time around also but it gives us an idea some kind of support can be expected and that has been evident for last uh, couple of hours where we have seen the usd jpy mostly spending the day consolidating in this narrow range of 15 20 pips and uh, this is the price where i don't think it is a good idea to short rather than that if we get the fresh swing low formation then we will have further confirmation on our side and as and when some retracement takes place we can initiate the sale trade as long as usd jpy is uh, well below this uh, critical level of 110 and uh, that means we should be trying to short it as close as possible to 110 and uh, that is going to get our uh, risk on the limited side we will be able to sharpen our stop loss i think the stop loss of 20 25 pips should be good enough and on the lower side we can target the risk reward ratio of even better than one is to two if you are willing to wait you can even expect the levels of 109 to be tested uh, by the usd jpy in days to come now moving to the gold's technical outlook we have this uh, breakout of sort in the gold after this consolidation closer to the levels of 1800 usd per ounce this time around it looks likely that this uh, spurt provided by the fmc monetary policy announcement is going to give the fresh impetus for the gold bulls and we might see this uh, prior swing high being broken and new swing high established and that will make the formation of a higher high and higher low and next time around whenever we have some sort of correction in the gold we can take our chances and try to go for a new buy trade with the target being closer to this uh, prior swing high of around US dollar 1900 so this is the good time to keep looking for the swing trading opportunities in gold and we do have the potential of gold moving back closer to these uh, prior swing highs which were established in the month of May and uh, if we consider the lower time frame charting we have these uh, central pivot point zone around the price levels of US dollar 1812 and this was the price which was capping the gold's upside move for almost a month if we look at this price formation here as you can observe the volatility was uh, quite limited and uh, on the higher side this central pivot point was acting as a resistance we did have a break but it didn't really last much long and the usd uh, sorry the gold's price moved back again but this time around looking at the momentum of this move i think we have a lot higher probability of gold breaking from this sideways pattern and inching towards the 
first resistance first resistance is not really close it's almost uh, three percentage point away from the current level so that might take some time and uh, in that course of time we can uh, try out for the new trades for a buy trade and uh, if we want to go for the buy trade we will have to rely on these uh, lower time frame charting where the price zone around uh, US dollar 1810 is going to be our area of interest we have these three SMAs converging close to this price area but we do have to keep in mind that that's almost one percentage point away from the current price level and uh, that means we will have to wait it out and if there is some sort of correction maybe in a day or two and if we get the gold closer to this uh, price zone then our stop loss and target price is going to be quite good a lot better than even one is to two as we can keep the stop loss just closer to this uh, immediate swing low yesterday's low established around US dollar 1795 should be good enough and uh, on the higher side as I said we can expect the goal to climb towards the levels of uh, price being high that means there is a possibility of gold moving back towards US dollar 1900 per ounce level and uh, that is going to open up the window of opportunity of almost uh, four percentage point move on the higher side all we have to take is uh, all we have to do is uh, stay patient and uh, wait for the opportune time to get involved for a buy trade in the gold so that's my take looking at the current price formation of the gold if any of you have any query or idea to share you can write to me in the feedback section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward before I sign off, I would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided. For uh, further coverage of the market developments, you can check out our Decoscopy Analytics page. Whenever you want to start trading, the JForex platform is one of the most easiest to use and if any kind of assistance is required, you can write to me in the feedback section. We are also available on the Facebook, you can follow us there. Thank you all for joining in. Have a fabulous day. Goodbye.